Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, May 7th, 2009. This morning I'd like to look at random access of objects inside a boss file. Give me an idea of what I'm talking about. What I'm doing here is creating a dictionary and then an array that contains a bunch of objects, including my dictionary, so that it has at least one relatively complex object in it. So let's do that first. So let's do this. That creates our objects. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to boss them out. But notice what I'm doing. Before I write each object, I'm taking the position and saving it into an array of indices. So I created an ordered collection. Then I'm saving that position, dumping it into my collection so that I have it for later. So let's do that. And now I can look at these indices, and they're just numbers. So I take a look here. That just tells me where the beginning of each of those objects is in my boss file. So let's say I wanted to get the third object, which should be my dictionary. What I can do is I can open the boss file for reading. Then I can put the position at that third index, and then I should be able to grab it. Now I've called this last item because previously I was getting the last item, so let's just call this item. That'll make it a little more obvious what's happening here. So now let's do that and see what happens. I should get my dictionary back. And sure enough, there's my dictionary with the two elements in it. And if I change that to, say, indices last, I should get that boolean false back. So let's do that. And sure enough, there it is. There's the boolean false. So you can randomly access your way into a boss file so long as you do this. Before you write each object in, save the position, and then you can take those indices and save them some other way. So once many, many, many years ago when I was trying to keep data around on my laptop that was hard for me to access because it was on a network server in California, and this was back in the days of dial-up. I downloaded an entire database of bug reports, and then I pushed them all into a boss file, and then saved the indices like this. And that allowed me to randomly access to any bug report on my laptop without having to get onto the network, which, again, back at that time was expensive. So this is useful for many kinds of things, not so much for that kind of thing now because network access is cheap, but if you're saving data with BOSS, you can, in fact, randomly access into it. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.